Hey, what up you guys? Happy uh, Monday. No, it's Tuesday today. It doesn't matter. It's a video. You can watch it any day of the week. A quick uh, recap um, of a couple things that uh, we've been working on over the last uh, couple weeks. I know I haven't uploaded a video um, in at least uh, two weeks, I think, uh, since the last one. That was a demo uh, of the new masks, which you guys have seen. There's since now a full shell. Uh, besides from the half shell that I showed you guys and if you want to see the difference between how these look once they're all finished up big difference huh so once I paint them up and everything end up looking real cool big difference in the fabric color changes a lot once you start painting it airbrushing it giving it that treatment. And I have a bunch of pictures on my Instagram too. You can check them out there. Uh, Instagram and Facebook at Elfet. Over the weekend, I got to film a video, a live stream video uh, with my friend uh, McLean. And if you guys didn't get to watch that, you can go and uh, watch it now. It's a three hour stream though. We spent a, a good three hours just uh, catching up and uh, working on some stuff uh, together. Here it is. Uh, McLean and I painted this one together. Uh, it's an emblem for a symbiote. Uh, if you guys want to see how we did this, you can check out his stream. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Uh, and uh, yeah, so he, this is a technique that he came up with a few years ago and he taught it to me. And I've been doing uh, a bunch of these ever since. And it was, it was really cool to get to paint one with him because it's... Uh, it's something that a lot of people ask me questions, you know, how do you do that and this and that. And for the longest time, I've kind of refrained from doing a tutorial video on it because this is more something that kind of he came up with. So it was cool to actually do it with him. So he taught you guys what he taught me all those years ago. And then we did it together. So, but the cool thing about this, it's uh, still stretchy, it's already cured. So now it can stretch with the fabric. It's a 3D textured emblem. See, kind of has that nice shin. It's nice and flat. It doesn't have, you know, that waviness that you would get if you, would, you were to do it with just puff paint. So, so that was something cool that happened over the weekend. Uh, the week before that, my friend Vinny came over and we put together that PVC mannequin that you see back there. I'm just gonna walk over there because it's too cool not to show it to you guys up close. See, because it goes all the way from the feet. It's a full body display, so pretty cool. And uh, we got to talk about uh, the RoboCop uh, project that I want to do. Uh, so that a lot of exciting stuff to come with that RoboCop project. I, I really have high hopes for it. So other than that, I wanted to uh, do a little bit of a, an unboxing video again. Um, I've been getting a couple cool packages over the last few weeks. Some of them sent... Uh, by a few friends and then a couple other things that I just uh, uh, purchased myself. Um, so first one I got yesterday, Steve Thewis. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, Steve, but I've been waiting for this one and that's why I kind of held off on doing this video till now. So now that I have this, I can just kind of do a little series of quick uh, not not a true unboxing review type video, but more of a like a let me show you guys something cool type video. So check this out. This little magazine. It's called MYM. So this is a February issue, and somewhere in here there's a feature. Look at this right here. Isn't this awesome? That's our Deadpool costume featured along with a uh, Harley Quinn photograph. Both of these beautiful shots taken by Steve himself. And this is uh, Daddy Deadpool uh, UK uh, on Instagram. So you can look him up as that. Uh, I'm not going to say your real name, buddy, just in case you're 
Oh, I guess it should be okay, right? If your if your name is in the magazine, I can just say, you know, this is Tom, Tom Lewis, looking badass, and he's also known as Daddy Deadpool UK on Instagram. But go check him out because uh, he has lots of awesome photographs taken by Steve and. Obviously follow Steve too because th this is all his work and the photos and uh, Steve has really nice uh, uh, Videos where he does kind of like time lapses and demos of how he makes these shots come to life You know from the original photograph like the raw uh, Photo and how he uh, does all these like cool effects to get them looking like almost like movie poster quality Amazing. So thank you so much Steve for sending this. I finally got it yesterday, dude. All right, next cool thing I wanna show you guys. Uh, I already showed you kind of like part one of that uh, package and I got it a, a couple of weeks ago and it was that amazing uh, autograph print with that pull. I put it on Instagram and it's kind of like that, uh, you know, that NFL kind of like stance where he's holding, uh, here, I'll just show it to you guys. I have it over here. I put it on the wall. How awesome is this? And I got it covered up because I airbrush in this corner, so I didn't want to get it ruined. And it's and it's in a packaging itself, but still. Uh, so he sent me. Mark Roberts was kind enough to send me that, as well as this incredible Iron Man. It's an electronic Iron Man helmet, fully licensed through Hasbro. I've never seen one of these in person, and he just sent me this as a gift dude so you kind of left me a little bit speechless i was not expecting to get like either of these things from you um so thank you so much dude i mean honestly i mean i i get blown away every time somebody sends me a gift because it's not something i ever expect and it's something that is just i mean it makes me feel like i somehow you know, uh, made you so happy that you wanted to send something like this along. And even though it's not necessary, um, on one part, it makes me really happy that you're so happy with the work that I did for you. And on the other hand, it's like, <laughs> what? I mean, I, I don't even have the words to like, thank you. So thank you so much, Mark. Um, and I do have your suit and I'll be painting that this week and, uh, as, as well as your mask and everything and sending that out this week. I guess that's just a personalized message through, to you in this video. So let's open it up real quick because I haven't opened this. I've been waiting to just do like an unboxing of all of these things uh, in a single video. And it's just, a, again, a quick unboxing. It's not like a review or anything like that. It's just I want to share with you guys these cool things um, plus I haven't talked to you guys in a little bit so let's take a look I also don't want to make this video super long but I mean uh, right I'm probably I mean this is probably gonna be lovely the way that it comes out of the box but what I'm probably going to do, and I've been kind of uh, thinking about this since I got it, I want to do kind of like a battle damaged paint job on this. Man, look at that cool, like the, the insides and everything are apparently on there, so dude, I'm so excited. It's been hard not opening this, for I've had this over a week now. And it's been really hard not to just open it and, you know, taking it out. But I, I told Mark that I wanted to do a little video on this. So I haven't had any time. I've been kind of running around like crazy the last couple weeks. So uh, it was very hard to just wait till I was able to find the time to do a video. But before this day gets any crazier, I decided to do it today. There it is. Yikes! And I didn't even know these were out. Like, I think I saw a picture when they announced that they were gonna do licensed uh, helmets 
for all the Avenger stuff and all that. But I didn't know that they were that these were already available or anything like that. I've been kind of out of the loop. So comes with this uh, little instruction instruction manual. And then I guess it takes some batteries. What are these triple A's? Just by random luck, I happen to have some triple A's right here. I don't know if they're if they're gonna work though. We'll try it out. Cause I'm not sure if it comes with batteries. So here we go. And I'm sorry I don't have a cool like setup like McLean does where you're kind of looking down at his desk and what he's looking at. Man, I gotta tell you, that kid has it like figured out. Like his setup at his house um, was just so well done. It was very professional. And I mean, um, obviously his friend that's helping him out really knows what he's doing too. Um, because it was like walking into a TV set when I went to that kid's house. I was not expecting it to be, you know, all like green screen and cam multiple cameras and everything. He's really, really doing an amazing job. So look at all this detail inside the helmet. It's kind of like thermoformed foam. No, it's plastic and it has all that detail inside. So how cool is that? And then the paint job is really nice. Nice glossy. This moves back, I guess, so you can fit your head in. And then, see, I should have read the instructions, I guess, but there's probably a switch somewhere, right? To, and it does weigh a little bit, like, like there's probably batteries in here. So let me see where the switches are, and we can test the mechanism. All right, so I just put the batteries in. Now let's see if it works. These might be old batteries, but I pressed the button once and it made a, it made a noise. So I think uh, it'll at least be good for me to, uh, to test it out. All right, so there's a little button in here, I guess. And when you press it, see how that lights up? It might be a little too bright in here right now for you to tell. Let me see. See, and it makes a little noise too. And I guess it has like three brightness, brightness settings. From very bright to not as bright. Nice. All right, and then I was looking at the instructions. It looks like this. Ooh, this is magnetic. Nice. Look at that. It's kind of like the Hot Toys one. And that's how it works too. What? You get, can you guys hear that? Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Mark. I've never had an Iron Man suit. I've never built one. I've never bought any Iron Man stuff for myself. So uh, this is kind of like a little joy to have. I used to have the Hot Toys, uh, the Mark III and the Mark IV. I, I gotta put it on, right? What do you guys think? Right. Looks like it's pretty roomy, but just in case. The jaw comes out a little bit. See? And then the back opens up too. So that you can kind of put your head in there. So let's try it. Right, closing up the back. Oh, this is a nice fit. I'm even wearing my beanie right now and it's it fits perfect with my beanie too. Okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> wow. You guys hear that, right? When you kind of activate it. What do you guys think? Should I battle damage it? Should I... <laughs> Should I battle damage it? Should I leave it pristine like this? What do you guys think? Let me know in your comments. Because I don't mind it like this either. But, you know, I kind of want to do a little something to it. But I don't know. Thank you so much, bro. All right, last little thing I got to show you guys uh, that I got in the mail is this uh, big boy right here. This is something that I uh, put an order in for because somebody hit me up from Taiwan that really liked what I did with that uh, Titanfall um, inspired paint job on the Nerf Chaos SMG. Um, that I put in an order for two more of those puppies. One for him and then another one. Either if you guys want one, let me know. I can paint it up for you or I might just do a different, uh, different paint scheme on it. So I just figured I was gonna order one and pay for that shipping, I might as well order two and get a free shipping thing that they had going on. So, so I got a red one and I got a blue one. So I'm gonna be painting this, this same as what you see back there for this uh, guy in Taiwan. And then I'm gonna be using the other one either for myself so that, so that I can have two and just, uh, you know, I can I can play some some like Nerf wars with friends when they come over. Or, like I said, if you guys uh, want to hit me up because you want one of those to paint it up, either in that style or a different style, let me know because I have an extra one that I ordered on Impulse and I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. So that's it for today's video. Uh, the next video is going to be a pretty cool video. You don't want to miss that one because I'm going to be going over the entire maximum effort package and what it includes. So from head to toe, from the boots all the way up to the mask and everything in between, all the accessories, all the weapons, all the props. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure you guys are as excited as me um, from that Deadpool 2 teaser that was in the movie Logan. And I mean, the most amazing thing that had me all giddy was that they showed basically the same costume because I don't like it when they just change costumes completely from one movie to the next for with no explanation and here we at least get to see the, the same costume and if they happen to change it in between uh, there might be a reason why like in the Dark Knight movies they had a reason why they would change from one costume to the next one because of, you know, like this, you're gonna be able to move your neck and this and that. But like in the example of The Amazing Spider-Man, I was talking with McLean about this, it, there was no explanation. It was just, you know, the homemade costume and now you have a this whole like complicated looking, more comic book uh, looking costume out of nowhere in Amazing Spider-Man 2. They never explained it. It was just, you know, that's it. So, <laughs> I don't know. I like it when they do a little bit of a homage to the first movie with the costume and then if they change it up for any reason, they include it in the movie somehow. So, but for obviously the, the other reason that, that we got excited was that, you know, you guys get to have a costume that still transfers from the first movie on to the next and you can get excited all over again for your costume. So I want to show you all the pieces that come in that maximum effort package. And um, yeah, it'll be cool. And then I'll show you kind of like really quick what they're made of and you know, that whole thing. So please uh, like and subscribe. If you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, please do so now. And uh, to those who have recently subscribed, thank you so much. Cause I did notice my subscriber account went up a little bit the last couple weeks. So 
thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing and let me know in your comments if you want me to mess with this at all or if you think it's beautiful as is i think i can live with it like this but i don't know i like airbrushing and battle damaging things so who knows so till the next one bye Belvedere. Brought to you by Velveeta. No, they didn't. They didn't sponsor this. I just love Velveeta.